This weekend, you can catch dozens of great indie films. The Sindependent Film Festival is this Friday and Saturday at Memorial Hall and over the Rhine. On top of the movie screenings, there will be Q&As and master classes from filmmakers. And this morning, one of those filmmakers joins us in studio. Kurt Sova is the writer and director of Resident. Kurt, good morning. Good morning. I'm so yeah. glad you're here today. A little background I got to share with you guys. Last time I saw this guy, was when we were in a children's theater show together. It's been a long time. It's been quite some time. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you're you're out doing your own thing. Now talk about, before we get into the movie sure, itself, sure. I just want to know how you made that decision to go, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to I'm going to leave the comfy confines of, of Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm going to head west. Yeah, and I mean, first of all, it's, it's great to be back here and great to be a part of this uh, Independent Film Festival. It's an incredible yeah. event, um, and Cincinnati will always kind of feel like home to me. Sure. Um, it was kind of always a, a decision to, uh, to to move out there. You kind of knew. I love movies. That's part of why I got into the theater. Yeah. Um, that's kind of how we ended up meeting each other. And um, just uh, kind of working with film, working behind the camera, um, putting together stories. And uh, matching them to pictures and music has always been a fascination to me. It's an endless source of fascination. And um, yeah, it's just something I, I'm, I'm constantly trying to create and, and trying to, to figure out how um, anything that I see in, in, in this world can fit into and a film. And telling a story in this, in this way, in this fashion, obviously is very mm -hmm. important to you. And it's going well enough that this this film has already been in some other film festivals already. It has, right? yes. Um, it has already been. It's, it was at uh, the Marina Del Rey Film Festival. It was our first film festival, and we actually won um, Best Horror Short. So nice. we won an award at that film festival. We were also featured in the Pictures Up Film Festival, and that's okay. another one in Los Angeles. Um, Independent is this weekend. And then... Um, uh, I believe next month is going to be the Atlanta Horror Film Festival, um, nice. and that's going to be our fourth. Okay, I, I have some horror movie fans literally in this studio with me right now. So tell me a little bit about Resonance and where you shot, because I think where you shot is really, really cool. Where we shot was an incredible location. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, so Resonance is uh, about um, a field recordist. A field recordist who is uh, at an abandoned water park collecting interesting sounds. Okay. While she's there, she's visited by the spirit of a friend who she failed to save in a drowning accident. So it's a horror film set at the abandoned Lake Dolores water park, which is a really fascinating location. It's a ruin covered in graffiti. It's a water park that shut down the middle of the desert. And so this is some behind the scenes stuff that That's we're seeing, right? right? That's okay. right. Yeah. yeah. Some of the special effects that we had. Um, there was, it was a. Uh, it was an interesting, um, I mean, interesting in several ways, but one of the things that, that we had to do was um, just portray this spirit um, in a way that seemed fresh and um, in a way that kind of gets um, the effect across. It, it, we wanted it to be really, you know, scary. We wanted to check the boxes of a thriller, of a yeah. horror, to really affect people that way. Um, but at the same time, we wanted it to be kind of... Um, earnest and, and not campy we, we we wanted I mean ultimately it is a, a film about the grieving process okay it's about um, you know it's something that has kind of a lot of heart to it and we wanted to affect people um, on, on kind of multiple levels with it what's it like to tell a story in a short you know I mean you know I think automatically people's natural inclination when I think of a film is something you no know, it's an hour and a half it's two hours it's two and a half hours that is not this you're working in sort yeah. of, it's not it's the same medium but a much different time frame Absolutely. Um, telling stories in a short format is, is, is a unique challenge because it's really hard to, um, to really create sort of, we're used to seeing things in a certain structure, a right. certain three act structure. So we're used to the beginnings of stories taking longer to develop and then the middles and then to, um, to con conclude in, in certain ways. With shorts, uh, you have to kind of find a way to condense all of that or to, um, I mean, a lot of shorts are actually, they're, they're portions of um, stories that have aspirations to become feature films. Right, sure. So a lot of them don't actually conclude. They'll like, conclude with a cliffhanger, and then it's like, do you want to see more of this? Uh, help me find a way to get this <laughs> to, to, to get this funded into to make something. Actually. Exactly, exactly. Well, Cincinnati's own Kurt Sova, he is back in town for this independent film festival. His film is Residence. Remember, the Film Fest is Friday and Saturday, and we'll have a link with more information and to buy tickets at Local12.com. Kurt, it is great to see you, buddy. Great to see you, too. Thank Best you. Best of luck with everything going forward. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.